Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about different academic roles that we have in universities. So usually we call everybody professors, everybody who teaches a class is a professor. But in, in reality, professors have different responsibilities. Some of them are fully teachers and some of them you know, do research and service and, and so forth. And depending on the responsibility, we assign different names you know, for, for each role. That's important to know because when you are reaching out to a professor, you know their responsibilities and you know what to expect. Or if you want to get a job in academia, it's, it's important to know what, what each uh, title means. And also if you are applying for graduate school, if you want to get your master's and PhD and you want to join a research program, you don't want to waste your time applying and corresponding to, uh, to faculty members who, who do not have research responsibilities. Uh, so the, the terminology is important. So we can start by talking about the, the three roles that faculties have. They have teaching, research, and service. And depending on which one is more dominant than the other one, then they would have corresponding uh, different titles. We have assistant professor, associate professor, and full professor. So assistant would be when you begin your, your, your job and then after five or six years of tenure, then you get tenure and promoted to associate professor. Tenure and promotion are usually connected, but there are some schools that let you get tenure without getting promoted or you can get promoted before you get tenure, but, but it's rare. Usually after your tenure, you go to associate professor and then there would be another promotion, full professor. And the assistant, associate, and full professors have 40% teaching, 40% research, and 20% service responsibility uh, on average. I mean, if the school is very uh, heavy on research, so they spend more time on research than, than teaching, or, or the other way around. If you're, if you are in a teaching school, then you're, even if you're assistant professor, your teaching responsibility might be more than your uh, research responsibility. Then we have terminology of assistant teaching professor. So we add teaching before professor, associate teaching professor, full teaching professor. As the name suggests, they have more teaching responsibility and very minimal uh, research requirements. So they don't need to necessarily publish or go to conferences, have, have a large lab. Uh, but most of professors, you know, do a little bit of research, you know, for, for um, because they are, they are in academia and they are scientists, but they don't have uh, a very large requirement for that. Then we have lecturers and instructors. I mean, they are, they are teaching professors and uh, some schools just call, uh, refer to such faculty as lecturers, some schools call them instructors and and some distinguish between assistant teaching professor and a lecturer. If you have a terminal degree in engineering, that would be PhD, then you can have the title of assistant teaching professor. If not, then you start with, with the title of lecturer. Then we have adjunct, which are part-time professors. Uh, the salary for adjunct is, is not good at all. So if you get a job and uh, don't, don't think about salary, usually people who are adjunct, they have to teach many classes to, um, to have enough salary, you know, to, to survive. Um, but some people don't do adjuncts for, for the sake of money. They just work in industry, they have another job and they want, you know, to teach one class and they still have the title of adjunct. So basically it means temporary. Then we have visiting professors, which is similar to adjunct, but are full time. And um, they could be for a year or it could be extended for, for more years. And then we have emeritus, which is uh, professors who have been retired, but they have had uh, excellent performance in, in their uh, career, so they get the title of emeritus. Some of them stay around and hang around at school and then keep their office and do a little bit of research. Some just retire, but they get the title. And then we have uh, Professor of practice, uh, those are the ones that I see more often now is mm, people who have been in industry for a long time, then they come to school and then they have that industry vision. So they, are, they have a lot of hands-on experience and the kind of link between industry and, and, and academia. And so if to, to sum up, you know, we have assistant professor, associate professor, full professor, and all of them could be assistant teaching professor, associate teaching professor, and full teaching professor, if, if their main responsibility is teaching, instructor and lecturer, 
as teaching responsibility adjunct and visiting professors are uh, are temporary adjunct is, is part-time temporary visiting or clinical professors are are full-time temporary professors and uh, we have emeritus which, which the professor will be retired and uh, the professor of practice which which those who have been in in industry so if you're applying for graduate school uh, I guess your best bet would be assistant professor and associate professors. Assistant professors have, have, uh, have just started their program, so they are very motivated. They have a startup funding that they can hire you. Um, and then on the other hand, associate professors you know, have, have established research or they have got external funding. So these are your two best bets. With full professors, it's hit and miss. Some of them you know, have been around and they're kind of laid back and then have slowed down. And some of them are still active in, in research. And uh, lecturers and instructors have very minimal funding or either no funding or very minimal. So they really can't hire uh, any graduate students. So if that's your, your goal, um, you should usually uh, not contact them because either you don't get a response or you would get a, uh, get a negative you know, response uh, from them in terms of funding. I hope that helps. If, if you have any more questions, uh, let me know. Thank you.